iOS 18 is now available for its developers and let's go ahead and look at it and see what's new in Apple CarPlay. So compatibility list. If you have an iPhone 10s or newer, you're good. Your phone is actually compatible, including the iPhone XR and even the second generation iPhone SE. So new this year that we receive in terms of updates is the new UI note for your notifications. It now has this unique animation where it actually will display the user's profile picture whenever you receive an incoming text message. Other new changes can be located in the settings where we actually, well, unfortunately we didn't receive any new wallpapers. It's still the standard wallpapers right here, but things can always change since after all, this is still is a developer beta. Hopefully Apple is listening and include some new wallpapers. That'll be nice. Or the capability to import some of your own wallpapers. That'll be awesome. But the new changes can be located in sounds because now you have a new sound ability where you could actually allow your phone to immediately silent when it connects to CarPlay by checkmarking this. As an example, if you get into your car, you have your phone not on silent. So if you get a notification, it'll notify you on both your CarPlay audio as well as your smartphone. So you can actually have it so it turns off automatically if your device is not on silent or you could just allow it to not do anything at all if you select do not change silent mode. I personally prefer having this turned off because why do I need two devices give me the notification at once or even three devices if you have an Apple Watch. Another change can be located in the accessibility tab because this is new. This time for the accessibility section for CarPlay, we never had an accessibility in Apple CarPlay before, but some of the cool things you could find is color filters. This is good to enable if you have a hard time of seeing, some type of like, if you're like blind to certain colors. I like the ability that you could enable grayscale if you just want neutral colors, red slash green filter, and the list goes on and off. You can also increase the insensitivity too if you want it to be higher or medium. And I'm sure somebody could easily get creative in like customizing their car play to look odd, I guess. So something that I really do appreciate, and I'm surprised other automakers, at least that I've seen, uh, don't integrate some type of color filtering for people who have a hard time seeing certain colors. This will definitely come in handy, but now with CarPlay, you have that ability. Other things you can enable is text bold. You can bolden the text. If you have, again, hard time seeing, you can increase the texture like that. Awesome, great. But a cool new one can be this voice control function. When you enable this, there's now a new icon right here because it will utilize your iPhone microphone. Let me see if this could also be shown in the video. There's now this new icon on top of your phone right here. I'll include a screenshot if it's blurry on the camera. I fixed the focus on it, but both your two devices are always listening to voice commands. So I could do stuff like this. Open music. It immediately opens that app. I could even say open maps. Open maps. So it needs some work, but it did it. This way you don't have to say the voice command anymore to do this. You could just verbally just say it and it's always listening to the wake word or wake command. I should, I guess you could say the command word. There we go. So I could always just go open settings, open settings, open settings. Have I mentioned the fact we're still in the developer beta? Nonetheless, I'm sure this is definitely a useful feature. As of time of making this video, I still don't know the complete list of commands, but I'll have it in the description if more updates come out or if I discover some other verbal commands you could say. But as of right now, I, can only, know, I only know to do like open YouTube music. There we go. And it does work with third party because this is actually YouTube music that we're using. So just follow, just say open and then follow by the name of the application but i i don't know how to navigate here hands free maybe i could try if i say my super mix my super mix last played library no so it doesn't allow me to control everything but i'm going to continue fiddling with this until i find until i see if there is a way i could verbally just hands free control the carplay interface but now let's go ahead and go back open settings it makes the feedback noise like it was doing something, but it still is in a beta stage. Another cool thing can be sound recognition. Now with sound recognition enabled, you can allow your car play to listen for car horns. 
So by having this enabled, the system will listen to any car horns and will notify you on the bottom of the screen like a standard notification. And if it detects sirens, it will also notify you. And if you tap on it, Siri will actually read out loud what's going on and will say that. Usually will say Siri, uh, Siri will usually say sound of sirens is nearby or something like that. Which is great for those who are hard at hearing or if you're listening to the music a bit too loud. But aside from that, that's basically it when in terms of new additional goodies that we receive on Apple CarPlay. Everything else is very standard. Show album artwork if you want that or not. Um, Siri and suggestions, you could disable this if you like. Or auto send messages or show Siri behind the, the little app icon if you want to blur that out. Again, every, everything is pretty much standard. Maps, unfortunately, didn't receive a new update. Uh, still has the same like user, user interface where by double tapping, you could like single handedly zoom in or zoom out like that without having to use the up and down arrow, what we previously had to do. But Apple did release a video on their actual YouTube channel for automakers because they're, as they do have a bunch of different layouts available for like speedometers and other amazing gauges and such that you could integrate on carplay so with this video alone that basically shows what's coming out next for apple carplay just giving the automakers new tools and new things they could do i will link that video in the description down below but i thought it was kind of fascinating was the ui tools that apple is giving automakers but I am curious to see how that siren function works. So let's see if it actually does work. If we go on accessibility, sound recognition, and we go enable it, and we have, let me just enable siren. So you're casually just driving along, uh, emergency sirens pop up in the background. I have an iPhone 14. I'm gonna play some siren sounds right here. Let's see if it detects it. It ain't popping up. That's a bit disappointment. Last time it worked on me, but I guess it still is a 50-50 and the vehicle is in drive. I did pull out a bit. Uh, it's not popping up. The recognition is not working, unfortunately. Again, it still is in the in the developer stage. Uh, we still are on beta one, so it could be updated in the future and better improved. So we're back home. I decided to give the system another chance by resetting the phone. Maybe that could have been it. Could have been the bug because it was working with me before. So here's some sirens. There we go. Now it actually recognizes it. I guess it was just glitched. And when I click on it, it's a bit laggy. Yeah, it's definitely laggy, but it was supposed to tell me sirens are nearby. Proceed with caution or something like that. But here I'll do it again. This time was a car horn. There we go. Recognized it. I think this head unit's laggy right now, but it was supposed to tell me the notification verbally if I click on it. Car horn, potentially, or something like that. So it works, just I had to reboot my phone, unfortunately. Other than that, there you guys have it. That's everything new for Apple CarPlay on iOS 18. And real quick, I know I commonly get to ask a lot, what kind of vehicle is this? This is a BMW X5, is what we're in right now. It's a 2024, which has this larger display. So I know that's a common question that we see a lot in the comic section. What kind of vehicle is this that we're using? It's my personal vehicle. So that answers that question. Other than that, thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to watch more, I highly recommend checking out that video over there where I go through my favorite features that not a lot of people are using on Apple CarPlay. And this includes iOS 18 as well as iOS 17. So definitely check out that video over there to really use your CarPlay to its full potential. Thank you so much for watching.